has a very funny and popular comedian. On Friday, February 17th, she'll be headlining at the State Theater in Eastern Pennsylvania. And on Sunday, February 19th at 9 p.m., she's part of the newest uh, cast trying to impress Donald Trump on Celebrity Apprentice. Please welcome Lisa Lavinelli! <laughs> Great. How you doing? Oh, Chris Pine is so into me. <laughs> really? Wow. That's is that sure. a pine cone in your pants, or are you just happy to see me? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> so oh you, you have God. not met before? No, I have not. I'm very impressed. Thank your you Your father much. being the guy from Chips. Did you like him? I did. He's a handsome man. Tell me your mom was Mrs. Roper. I'll bang you right here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She sure can play hard to get, can't she? Yeah. Shy and demure. Well, congratulations on Celebrity Apprentice. Isn't I, I, that exciting? You have exciting. to watch. Let me ask you something. Now, you did the Trump roast. Yes. And, and oh my God, you obliterated the man. You, you tore the man literally to pieces. Yes, if you don't know what Jay's talking about, we roasted Donald Trump on Comedy Central. Yeah. And if you love him, he can take a joke. Right. If you forgot some of the jokes, I have a little sample. In oh, these, are, <laughs> these are the ones you did? Yes, okay. these are the ones. Every makes, everyone makes fun of Donald's hair. And by hair, I mean his pubes. <laughs> you think that Como looked bad on his head. The last time I saw hair that badly groomed, I bumped into Susan Boyle at the nude beach. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ah, still no one can argue that he has made Trump more than just a name. He's made it a brand, a brand like Mass and Gill, yeah. because he's a bloated, stinky douche. Thank wow, that's you. a wow, that's a, wow. Yeah. I knew you'd like that yeah, one. Very, yeah, very nice, very nice. Now, now, <laughs> yes. I call you the queen of mean. I can't imagine why. But <laughs> yes, I, I do. I, are you mean on the show? How are you with the other contestants? Listen, yeah. let me tell you, they were all on my nerves. Yeah. First of all, it's a very difficult show. You work yeah. harder than Oprah Winfrey spanks. It's really wow. tough. Yeah. Yes. And also, I'm going through menopause at the same time I'm doing this apprentice. Right. It's right. very difficult. Yeah, yeah. I'm more irritable than Larry King's bowels. Wow. <laughs> yes. It's very hard. Now, and like, there were some cast members you just don't get along with. That's how it is. You yeah. can't be friends with everybody. Well, these are the cast members. Now, here's Victoria Gotti. Oh, my God. I thought that was Dee Snyder. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. My goodness. Now, she, of course, is, is the daughter of John Gotti, the famous uh, I know. I was a little bit scared. famous businessman. Oh, yes, he was a businessman. I'm a little scared of her. Yeah. And by the way, she's already going around saying, I'm evil. Do I look evil to you? No. No. Victoria Gotti calling me evil. That's like Andy Dick telling me I have a substance abuse problem. Are you right. kidding me? All right, let's see. Now here, funny you should mention, Dee Snyder. What was he like? He was fantastic. Yes. Let me tell you, he would put on that wig from the 80s, and that makeup looked just like this one. It was <laughs> terrific. It was great. Uh, <laughs> this is, uh... Separated at birth. Oh, Debbie Gibson. Is she still singing? Oh, I love Debbie. Now, I heard you know some things about Debbie Gibson. You've worked with her. She's a terrific gal, mm -hmm. but the broad cannot stop singing. She mm -hmm. sings her answers. I'm like, honey, it's as if the dwarf and uh, Christine Aguilera are fighting to put her on the team. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, are we sensitive now? Yeah. Are we sensitive? What happened tonight, show? What happened to you people? I thought you had a sense of humor, huh? Well, let me ask you something. I, I know this is far-fetched premise. <laughs> did you make any friends on the show? I did. No, shut up. I'm like the nicest person ever. Yeah. And I made friends with one of the girls. Yes. She and I got along so good. Mm -hmm. Clay Aiken, we had so much fun. Wow. <laughs> we did. We did. It was a real bonding thing yeah, because, yeah. you know... Yeah, so much in common. Yes, well, he has claymates. I have chlamydia. Right, and you right. know what else? <laughs> what was really... <laughs> no, Clay was really cool because we did find out he has adopted a kid. Oh, no, we had a baby named Parker. Right. And I have a dog named Parker. I adopted him. Isn't that sweet? Right. I named him after Sarah Jessica Parker. Wow. <laughs> because they're both ugly cute. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, wow, 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 wow. Love you, Sarah Jessica! Hey. Now, you, but we should explain uh, on Celebrity 
Find out you play for charity, correct? Yeah, I was a little offended by that. Yeah. You're I thought offended it was by for me. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. I Oh, and by the way, this is a really good chance to thank Jay Leno because Jay Leno himself sent me money to help my charity. Isn't right. that amazing? No. Seriously. No, no, I No. He sent no. me No, shut no, up. No, I sent Don't... you money to keep quiet about a little incident backstage. <laughs> No, he sent that was keep me, your mouth shut money I sent you. He sent me $5,000, which let me tell you something. How generous of you, Jay. Yes, yes. Did you have to take out a loan for that hefty sum, yeah, huh? Yes, I did. He made that back during the first three minutes of introducing us, okay? <laughs> but it was nice of you to do that. Do you know how many 50-year-old menopausal women ask me for $5,000 <laughs> every day? Every day. <laughs> Now, did you, did, you, did you ever get fired from a job? I can't ask you if you got fired from this because you're not yes, allowed to Yes, I'm allowed to say yeah. But you ever but been fired from I a job? I did in high school. I was a waitress. And I guess they don't like when you make out with the cook in front of everybody. <laughs> and you call women the C word on the golf course. Wow. They don't like ah. that in Greenwich, Connecticut. Now, why are you why. making out with the chef? For the why free not? meal? Why not? Exactly. <laughs> Come on, I got to eat too. Come on, I'm a good. <laughs> Please, I gain weight in that apprentice. Oh my God, I yeah. am a five o'clock shadow away from being Chaz Bono. Wow. wow. I cannot take it. <laughs> now, we, now we have a clip with you and some of the girls. This is the girl team? Is yes, that what yes, we're going to see? Yes, yes. Okay, well, well, set up this clip. Does it need a setup? Who's, who's in it? I have no idea. I didn't we're, see the clip. Oh, okay. I'm right. very excited. Well, here, let's take a look. Wait, 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 everybody's doing everything outside. Did anybody stop to think who's making these sandwiches inside? Victoria Gotti, I will not screw with in the least, and I think you know why. <laughs> no horse's head in my bed. I don't care if she doesn't show up for work. She's getting an A-plus from me. So let's come up with how many sandwiches. Be nice to have three super recognizable people. Yeah, who's the most recognizable face here? Teresa. Teresa's one. Yes. Then, then, I mean, Cheryl Teagues is a freaking supermodel. So how about something that uh, Teresa's could be very Italian, and hers could be more sort of diet conscious. <laughs> Sunday, February 19th at 9 o'clock, right here on NBC, Celebrity Apprentice. We ride back with Anthony Hamilton right after this.